In February 1985, Briton David Hunt was leading a bird spotting tour in India. One of the stops was Jim Corbett National Park in Uttar Pradesh, which has a large tiger population. The park provides an armed guard to each group of visitors and they're required to stay on the trails. As his party explored the park, David heard an unknown call and walked a short distance off the track. Minutes later, there was a scream. When others rushed to help, they discovered David's mauled body in a clearing nearby. When David's body was recovered, so was his camera. The slides were later developed and one is a close-up of a spotted owlet. The next slide is of a tiger, though it is some way away, walking to the right. On the next picture, it is walking to the left. In the next one, it is facing the camera. And the next three shots show the tiger closer in every picture. The final picture is a frame-filling shot of the tiger's head, eyes blazing and teeth exposed in a snarl. On November 20th, 1862, lion tamer Thomas McCart was working with lions as an assistant. He was walking past the lion cage when a lioness seized him by the left forearm, causing such severe damage it had to be amputated. Thomas continued working with lions with one arm, though he was known to be nervous and have a drink before performances for a bit of Dutch courage. On the evening of January 3rd, 1872, Thomas was performing before a crowd of 500 people. After giving his usual talk about big cats, Thomas stepped into the cage where he was attacked by the lions. As he attempted to fight them off with his sword and a pistol loaded with blanks, they overcame him, tearing his flesh from the bones. This was all while the crowd watched, many fainting from the sight. Ellen Eliza Blight, known as Helen Bright, was an English lion tamer known as the Lion Queen. On the evening of January 11th, 1850, a group of officers asked Bright to perform for them after the public show. She entered a cage which contained both a lion and a tiger. She touched the tiger's nose with her whip and it jumped at her and caught her dress, making her fall to the ground. It then clawed at her leg and her throat. She was pulled out of the cage unconscious and attended to by a doctor, but died within a few minutes. Rose Flanders Bascom was born in 1880 and was the first American woman lion tamer who performed in the circus in 1905. It is reported that she was clawed by a lion, resulting in an infection that led to an untimely death around 1915. Hannah Twinoy is believed to have been the first person to have been killed by a tiger in Britain. She was a barmaid of the White Lion Inn in the early 18th century where there was an exhibition of wild beasts, and among them was a fierce tiger in which Hannah took pleasure in teasing. One day, the tiger had managed to escape its cage. He sprang towards the girl, caught hold of her, and tore her to pieces. Catherine Chappell, 29, was a visual effects editor and had worked on shows such as Game of Thrones. On June 1st, 2015, she was being driven through a lion park in Johannesburg when a lioness grabbed her. Witnesses said that Catherine had the windows of her car open and was taking pictures of the wildlife seconds before the predator attacked. The lioness had bit Catherine on the neck and she sadly passed away in the lion park due to her wounds before the paramedics could arrive. Catherine had been on a volunteer mission while in Johannesburg with the aim of protecting wildlife throughout the country. David Playdell Bouverie was a British wildlife lover and on a safari holiday in Zimbabwe in 1999. He was sleeping inside an open tent which was supposed to be closed when a lion poked its head inside. David fled but was greeted by more lions outside the tent who set upon him. Safari guide Bradley Fouch said that he had gone to David's rescue after being woken up at 1.30am to screams and his name being shouted. Bradley quickly realised that David was running away from his tent and when he lit a flare so he could see, David was surrounded and covered by approximately 12 lions. Unable to get a clear shot of the lions with his handgun without hitting David, he told staff to get a vehicle to drive at the lions, but once it arrived, it was clear. There was unfortunately nothing they could do for David. Rick Lombard was a South African documentary filmmaker. 
1994, he was filming the transfer of 29 animals from a zoo in Angola to a plane for a flight for South Africa. As he was filming, one of the starving tigers broke free, grabbed Rick and mauled him to death. The Portuguese news agency Lusa said that the zoo guards killed the tiger after the attack. Food is scarce in Angola and the animals at the zoo had become severely undernourished. The infamous tiger attack of Maksud Pardesi is a tragic and disturbing one. Maksud had an obsession with big cats, most notably tigers, and would visit a Delhi zoo frequently to marvel at the cats. On the 23rd of September 2014, Maksud had gone to the Delhi zoo to again gaze at the tigers. According to staff at the zoo, Maksud had climbed into the tiger enclosure, but eyewitnesses claimed that he had slipped. It is believed that he was intoxicated at the time. Shortly after falling, Vijay, the white tiger within the enclosure, came face to face with Maksud. Several onlookers watched in horror as they captured images on their phones. Maksud seemed to be praying and the tiger watched him closely for almost 15 minutes. Onlookers tried to help by shouting down and throwing things, but they just angered the tiger who then lunged at Maksud, locking its jaws around Maksud's neck and dragging him away. The tiger killed but did not eat Maksud. Officials managed to retrieve his body nearly two hours later once staff were able to get the tiger away. In July 2016, Mr and Mrs Zhao, the mother of the wife, along with their child, took a driving trip around the Badaling wildlife world, which is home to a number of Siberian tigers. At one point during the ride, the car stops and Mrs Zhao jumps out of the vehicle and quickly walks around to the other side of the car. This is the moment a tiger then leaps at the woman from behind, dragging her away from the vehicle. Mr Zhao and the woman's mother both get out of the car to try to chase the tiger off, but the older lady was instantly killed by another tiger who then carried her body away. Mrs Zhao was rescued by park staff and recovered in hospital. Her child that was left in the car and her husband escaped unhurt. 